That's the plan, Stan. We got a plan, and we're sticking to it. Let's do it. I'm a poet, and I know it, and you know it. Don't blow it. Okay, <laughs> I'll shut up. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go hit some POIs. Uh, that is the plan. Um, first of all, though, uh, a few of you told me in the comments that um, you can actually find the uh, nodes of titanium by little white dots. So there's one right there, and there's one right here, and one right here. So that was very useful information. Thank you very much for those comments. Um, is there any, like, that are actually in town? Because then I could actually start, like, a titanium mine. That one's fishy looking, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's one or not. Um, but this one here is actually right, just right on the edge of town. Uh, where did it go? It was, yeah, right here. So there's one right there. Uh, one there. Just be nice to have something a little closer to to the base, but anyway, yeah, very useful. So, so thanks for letting me know that. Um, this has me really curious. Look at how many white dots there are out here. Is that really a big cluster of titanium nodes? Because if it is, that's where we should have a titanium mine. We should probably run out there and just look at that. Let's put a let's put a quick marker on there. Apparently, I put a drop chest down here at one point, too. I guess we could swing over and see if there's actually anything good in there uh, to do that. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, we don't have any quests either, so we could stop by the trader and just grab a quest. So that way we're, you know, working working for him, too. Anyway, I've got uh, the titanium that we got in the last episode is cooking up in here. Uh, so we're, we're going to have like over 300 ingots, which means we brought back over 600 titanium, which is fantastic. And we also have, um, we should have a decent amount of scrap in here too. Uh, yeah, right here. We have 281 scrap, which is gr really good. Now, you guys were also telling me, you know, I was trying to look and see if there was a different shape on here. But you said it was like the bottom part that gets narrower. Um, so here, let's do this. Let's turn it this way, and then we'll select that. that. No, that's still, okay, that's still the same, the width of the cube. That's the width of the cube. And that's... That's the width of the cube. I don't, I really, honestly, I don't see a difference, you guys. I honestly don't see a difference. The top part's the same thickness. The bottom part's the same thickness. Yeah, I, unless I, unless I misunderstood what I was told, that still looks exactly the same to me. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just the preview image is wrong. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Whoops. Let's put that back in there, and I guess we won't worry about it. Unless unless I misunderstood you, but I cannot, for the life of me, see that any difference between, uh, you know, between that and, well, between the three different dudes. Um, yeah, you just can't see it. Okay, so we have, we need plate. Now, I think we need a plate for we were thinking about making some tools now i know we can upgrade the tools in the research station um did, oh, oh yeah okay so this is for yeah this is for the the blueprints themselves so you were telling me the titanium pickaxe works well on titanium um so we would need 20 plates but yeah the thing is is research data is our stopping point on pretty much anything we want to do in terms of making um, new stuff there, uh, new blueprints. So that's just another reason why we need to get out and hit some POIs. So that is the plan stand. So I'm going to take and put all of those titanium ingots in there. Um, we, we have some titanium rebar. Um, so I think I'm just going to turn all of this stuff into plates. So that's what we need for the upgrades. Okay, so that'll get us 155 plates. 
you're working on some iron and you need a minute and 48 left of burn time. Um, oh, you have 248. Okay, so you're good to go. We can just let that burn out and then we'll be good. Okay, now I also have no more honey. Uh, another, another comment was one of you guys were asking if it's possible to make honeycombs or beehives in Undead Legacy. And another person responded and said it isn't. And yeah, I don't see it popping up here. Um, I believe you can do that in Ravenhurst, maybe, if I recall correctly. So we might run into the forest and just nail a few stumps, too, just so we can get a little more honey. Um, so we have that on hand. I do have one antibiotic, but that's it. I have one antibiotic. And so we need five honeycomb to make one thingamadoodle. And I got lots of beer. Too bad beer didn't work. Right, eh? That'd be good. Okay, so we have two, <laughs> two honeycombs there. Um, in fact, let's take those with us, and let's just take a few plastic bottles, too. Um, and, you know, so that way we can just make it on the fly, because I don't think we... I think we can make that in our inventory. All right, I think we're good to go. Um, we have our friend the Grim Reaper with us. Seems like he shows up a lot. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite, man. Um, we're doing pretty good on... Food, we could stand to get some beverage, so let's throw back a yucca. We still have one mineral water up there, too, for out on the road. Let's see, what do we get? 34 from that. You know what? Let's throw back two. And that way we are in phantasmagorical shape there. Okay. Uh, I guess we can put you down here. And we're ready to go. Okay, so first stop, the trader to get a job. Second stop, we're going to go check out that, what appears to be a mass deposit of titanium out in the wasteland. Then we're going to swing over to the forest and hit a few stumps and then come back and do whatever the trader job is. That's the plan, Stan. we got a plan and we're sticking to it. Let's do it. I'm a poet. And I know it. And you know it. Don't blow it. Okay. <laughs> I'll shut up. Hello, stranger. I've got a bad feeling about He's got this. some stuff that we need to buy, but guess who didn't I guess who didn't bring his money? Hey, do you got honey? <gasps> He's got honey, and it's pretty cheap too. All right, uh, when do you reset on day ninety three? All right, we're gonna come back and buy this honey from him because it's really cheap. And yeah, that's why because it's really cheap. What else do you have? I don't think I've looked at your inventory since you've reset. You got a micro SMG, but it's a shit level one. Iron combat knife. Bipod would be nice. Iron sword. Okay. Yeah, he's got a couple things we could Sorry, I didn't have what you needed. Potentially we'll get. We restock often. What do you have, Mang? Ooh. I think we I think we need this. Here again though, I don't know. Do we actually need hazmat gear in Undead Legacy? I know it's used in Ravenhurst and in Darkness Falls. Like actually used. Uh, all right, let's look in here. He's got Brinks' Fury. It's a G level. Uh, ours is better in every way, so yeah, forget about that. Except for, I think, I think this, uh, wait a minute. Doesn't this have a chance to shock them? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, hey, there's that. We wouldn't have to expend data points on on the learning the one that's back at the base. We could just outright buy it. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a few things we need to come back here for. Uh, bring our money back. I don't think I have any money in the bike at the moment. Fine. 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 All right. You have any jobs? Oh, look at this. Special jobs. That would get us into... Does that get us into tier yeah, five? It says tier four. We're expanding tier All right, let's no try it. What, I'm grateful for everything you've done. But we're also going to take a job from him too, preferably something to the uh, uh, the west because we're heading that way anyway. So that would be 
clear at the Zel- Zelikt restaurant or fetch and clear at Zombona Hotel? I like the idea of Zombona Hotel. <laughs> I do. I don't know why. Um, let's try the Zombona Hotel. I don't think I don't think I've even been in there before. All right. You're the man. I'm the man. We're going to go in the Zombona Hotel. Bona. Zombona. That might be my, my next new nickname for the Zeds, Zombona. Oh, yes, I know. I need to repair my motorcycle. I do. You guys mentioned that in the comments, too. We'll get her done. It still, it still has enough durability to last for a little bit longer. Okay, so let's see. First order of business. Let's head on over to this place and see if it does indeed have... A metric crap ton of titanium nodes, because if it is, that's going to be our new titanium mine. And we'll also, like I said, we'll check that drop chest that I left out there. I have no idea what's in there. It's been, that was a long time ago. Hopefully I don't have mask beard. I actually had to go to the hospital um, this morning and get an MRI done because I'm having some back issues. And, you know, they make you wear the mask, and so now my beard's probably all squished. But, hey, you guys can just watch me with a mask beard. Lucky you. Okay, yeah. Anyway, let's head on out to the these supposed titanium nodes and see if that's what's actually going on out there. Got a little air time there. <gasps> it is. Look at this. My goodness! <laughs> we hit the titanium jackpot, baby! Oh, snake. Wow! Okay, this is our new titanium mine. We're gonna dig this sucker all the way down to bedrock. We're gonna we're gonna do a big pit mine here. It's gonna be dangerous as all get out, because we're gonna have all kinds of Zeeks jumping down on our head. But that just makes things more fun, doesn't it? I should probably bring that junk turd out here to help us wow okay all i can say is wow okay <laughs> that's awesome okay so here let's uh mark this not that we really need to i mean there's so many nodes out here but yeah let's mark it like legit mark it so we're gonna go here and we're going to put a pick and we're gonna call this Titanium mine. All right, yeah. So this is gonna this is gonna be a pit mine, man. We are just gonna, or a strip mine, I guess I should say. We're just gonna take this sucker completely down to bedrock. Wow. Okay. Cool. Uh, but that we're not gonna do that today, though. We've been mining titanium in the last two episodes, so that'll be for another time. But we know it's here now. We know it's here. All right. Let's mark this drop chest. I've got a bad feeling about this. And uh, go see what, what I left in that. I might have been, like, salvaging cars or something and just ran out of room. I don't remember. Uh, wait. Where's it at? Over here. Oh, right next to the bear, of course. Frickin' bear. Uh... Come on, bear. Just get out of here, bear. Here, I don't want to mess with the bear. I've kind of been having bad luck with bears lately, in case you didn't notice. Let's see if we can get him to bugger off here. There you go. Bugger off, bear. All right. Where's our chest? It's showing right over... No, go the other way. Go that way. There you go. Showing right here. Is it un underground? Wait, what? We must have dug a treasure up over here. Oh, is it inside of here? Yeah, it's in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty decent resources. We'll take that. Sure. Sure we will. All right. Let's go into the map here. No, here. And eliminate the drop chest. That's no longer necessary. 
cool. All right, man. All right. That's awesome, man. That huge uh, titanium deposit. Fantastic. That made my day. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we were going to go into the woods, into the forest, and hit a few stumps. Let's do that next. It's starting to get dark. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. But we can do... We can work on the Zomboner Hotel uh, at nighttime. Looking for the green trees. Kablooey! You know, it'd be funny if was, if if the vulture was right behind us <laughs> when we set off a mine. That'd be awesome. That would that would also make my day. It truly would. I'm not so sure we're gonna find a lot of stumps in this general vicinity because I think I've come through here before looking for stumps, but we'll see. We'll see what there is, man. Oh, my motorcycle sound just... Oh, there. Okay, it's back. Okay, what abs, man? Uh, all right, let's uh, see if we can... If we can just get, like, three more honeycomb. Um, You know, then we can... Where's the bird at? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh... You know, then we can make at least make one thing of honey, and then I can go buy those other three from the trader once we go back there with some money. And of course, we might as well stop and hit the bird's nest. Even though I've got a pretty nice supply of eggs up to this point. And like I said, we might not find a lot of stumps around here. We might need to move further out. Oh, here's one. We got two honeycomb. All right. I think it's possible to get three, but I, I, don't, I guess I don't remember for sure. It's been a while since I've been honeycomb hunting. I like that that idea in the comments about being able to make a beehive, though. One thing we certainly do not need are more feathers. We got lots of feathers. Yeah, I know I'm passing up more bird's nests, but... Oh, here we go. We should probably get a move on here because it is getting late. Oh, we do need to make that in a cooking pot. Okay. Fair enough. I thought we could craft that in our own inventory, but we have to make it in a cooking pot. We can handle that. We could hit two more stumps, then we can make two more honeys. Assuming we get at least two from each stump. Did we learn that um, wasteland, I think it's a wasteland book where we can get honey from cutting trees down? Uh, let's look at that. I don't remember. So, collectibles. Pretty sure that's Wasteland Treasures. Yeah, no, it's it's number one. Adds a small chance to harvest honey from trees. We do not have that one learned. Okay. So, stumps are, are the option at the moment. But, you know, here again, I've been through this little patch of forest so many times that uh, the stumps are going to be a bit scarce, I think. That doesn't mean I've hit all of them. Here we go. Oh, we got three out of that one. Okay, cool. So you can get three out of them. I thought maybe you could, but just couldn't remember for sure. All right, so that, that means we need one more, and then we can make two bottles when we get back home. So one more stump. And here's one right here. Fantastic. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, that's enough to make two bottles, but we will, of course, have to do that when we get home. Unless... Did I leave a campfire at our original base, which was right over here? Let's take a look. 
I haven't been over here in a long time, man. If you guys have been following the series from the beginning, this place should look familiar to you. Oh my goodness, look at all those resources I left in there. Holy cow. Um, can we get some of that in the bike? I'd like the spoiled... Well, I'd like all of it, really. It's all useful, but the spoiled meat would be good to have. That massively weighs me down, but let's do this. It, the brass is like crazy heavy. Look at all those bones, man. Okay. That works. Nice. Okay. Oh, anyway, <laughs> we're, we came here to go and see if I left a campfire here. Uh, I left a carpenter's table here, but we don't need it. I think I had the fire right over here somewhere. What else did I leave here? Oh, wow, look at all those engines. Those guys are downstairs. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we have truck engines here. We have buggy engines, two of them, and a plane engine. All right, I got to remember that that stuff is there. My word. Uh, anything in here? No, that's empty. Okay, yeah, we got to remember that stuff's there. There's no way I can take it back right now. But uh, yeah, I don't see, I don't see a campfire up here, so we must have taken it down. All right, no worries. Let's go. Okay, so let's see. We need to go to the Zomboner Hotel. I suppose we could stop in here real quick and just take a look at this guy's inventory. Our original trader. You're still in the corner, Raiden. What the heck, man? You've been in the corner for pretty much all my life. <laughs> um, all right, what do we have here? Compound crossbow. It's got some nice mods there. Car engine, a renegade motorcycle. Hunter's Journal. What's this one do? Puffer coats, okay. A Morning Star Mace. Wow, look at that sucker, man. That's wicked looking. A deadly improvement over a regular mace featuring spiked weighted head. Wow. That be might might be kind of fun to try at some point, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything certainly super phantasmagorical that he has. <laughs> a junk pistol. Hunting knife. What's this one? Footwear. That stuff is so useless. <laughs> I mean, on a multiplayer server, maybe, or if you're role-playing, maybe not, but in general, yeah, kind of worthless. I think so, anyways. You might not, and that's okay. Find more lead and loot. Don't care. You can craft steel clubs. Useful if I was specced into it. Picked up something. Here's a mining car. How much does that cost? Hmm. 6,000. It can hold 6,000 pounds and has 36 slots. We might... We might want to do that at some point. But otherwise, yeah. better things to do than stare at the likes of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at the map here. And we want to go to here, and we want to go to here, and we want to make this the active quest. And let's look see where it is on the map. Oh, it's not too far away from our, our house. So that means we could actually stop back by the base and make that honey first. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the base. Houston, we have a little bit of a problem here. I was going up the ladder, and Roberta pushed me into the wall. Like, literally into the wall. So I'm, like, melded into the wall. I'm completely encumbered because I grabbed all that stuff and yeah so we're stuck okay so this is the end of the episode thanks guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it. i'm just kidding all right so let's see we're gonna have to go into i think it's debug mode debug menu and then we can put ourselves into 
fly mode and no collision. And I guess maybe God mode too. There we go. Okay. And then we'll just kind of float up to here. At least we're, we were just about all the way home there, right? Uh, take that off. And then go back into here and turn that back off. And we are now back in business. Uh, yes, I realized on my way up the ladder before Roberta messed us up that I am infected. Thank you, buzzard. So, I guess uh, this is a good time for us to make some honey, eh? Yeah, that's enough time there. And then I think most of this stuff will go into here. Man, that's a nice collection of rotten meat. Look at that. Uh, for hobo stew and... All the other stuff that we need it for. We had one extra thing of uh, meat there. We'll put the feathers in there. Uh, I'm just going to stick the wood. Well, actually, let's stick the wood in with this wood. And we'll put the stones in here. You know, I got to thinking too, if I'm going to make that a permanent mine, we might actually take a Jenny out there and, and an actual turret, like a real turret, not a junk turret, to help uh, with crowd control. I was thinking that might not be a bad idea, you know? All right, well, we're going to take one of these right now because we need to. And then it uh, looks like we also have an abrasion. Gonna have to make another desert trip here soon to get some more uh, aloe. And we're in reasonably good shape. Why don't we throw back one of these? And that'll get us in really good shape. Okay. So we're good to go. We'll put those two things in there. We'll launch Roberta again. Quit, quit throwing me into the Powering wall, Roberta. Up. All systems go. Oh, I want to grab some money. Uh, we have thirty-four thousand coin. How heavy is this? It's about nine pounds. Yeah, let's just take it all and, and maybe keep it in the, in the motorcycle. I had t intended to do that before, but I just uh, I took it back out for some reason. All right, motorcycle repair kit. What do we need to make one of those? I think we have to do that in in ballistics table. Where's mechanics table? Uh, over here. All right. So let's um, pin this. We need 25 steel plating. We need one battery. Where's the cheapest battery? That's the cheapest one. Uh, we need one headlight. We need two motorcycle wheels. Okay, can I make two motorcycle wheels? I think so. Yeah, because that, that doesn't have like the little professor head thing by it. All right, uh, I think we have all that stuff, so let's pin for motorcycle wheels. So now we're going to need 10 iron. Two bearings, or four bearings. Uh, two glue, or adhesive. And two motor oil. And 70 scrap rubber. Do I have scrap rubber? 
Yeah, we got lots of scrap rubber. Do we ever have lots of scrap rubber? Okay, so that'll allow us to make the two motorcycle wheels. You don't have the necessary resources to craft this. What? But what? What? You're crafting it. Don't be doing that to me. All right, motorcycle repair kit. Now let's repin that. We're going to need two more duct tape and five more oil. Two duct tape. Five oil. Okay. So we just have to wait for the tires to finish, and then we can make the repair kit. I don't know how long that's going to take. Um... You know, we're kind of out of time, you guys. So, yeah. If, uh, yeah, I think we're going to, we're just going to go ahead and end the episode here. Sorry about that, but time just got away from us, and we did need to make that motorcycle repair kit. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, and then we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode, and we'll go hit the Zomboner Place uh, Hotel. And uh, let's see, what time is it? It's also going to be 91 uh, two tomorrow, in game day tomorrow, which is Horde Day. So we'll take our remaining um, titanium that we have here and just finish the upgrades. Yeah, the titanium plating here. We'll finish those upgrades on. I'm actually going to put that in the motorcycle too. On the Horde base, and then we should be ready to go. I think we're in good shape. Oh, oh you know what, though? We might need to make some. We probably need to make some more pipe bombs. Uh, we have 78. That's actually a pretty decent amount. What? What happened to all my pipes? I should have a whole mess of pipes from all the car salvaging that I've done. Have I put the... Ah, oh, they're right here. It's going to say, man. In fact, there's some stuff in here that's not supposed to be in here. Inventory management time, baby. Anyway, okay, so... Let's grab that, 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 and that, and that, and that, and go to our ballistics table. And, oh yeah, we got to remember to grab these two for the Horde Knight. Here we go. That's what I'm, that's what my brain's telling my eyes to look for. Uh, so yeah, let's just craft a bunch of pipe bombs. And then I'm also probably going to want some more shoddy shells. And maybe some more 762s. These are all 556s up here. So let's grab some buckshot. We don't need any more of this. And what else do you need for shotgun shells? Oh, I guess we, yeah, I keep forgetting we don't have to pop that stuff out of there. We have 200 rounds there. Let's make another 200 rounds. And we'll put that stuff back in there. Okay. And then for 762s, we have a full stack there. Um, Yeah, let's... Nope, we don't have to grab it out. OG, oh, leave it in there. You got polling, dude. Inventory polling. How many of these can we make? 748. Let's make another stack of these. There we go. Okay. Cool. And so, yeah, we'll be fine on, you know, for ammunition on Horde Night as well. We're going to be a little bit light on meds, but, um, you know, what can you do, right? Are these tires finished? They are. Let's make our motorcycle repair kit. That's going to take another three minutes. And then we'll take that down. You know what I might do with that, though? I might store it inside of the motorcycle and not use until the motorcycle is almost completely broken. That way we just, you know, maximize the uh, time that we get from that so all right yeah guys I'm gonna let you go here uh i will bring you back in the next episode we'll probably start right from where we left off here and head on over to uh the poi and get that knocked out and then depending upon how our time goes um we might you know do our final preparations for the horde night or yeah if we get through it really quick we might try and knock out another one but we'll see how things go thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye